Welcome back! It's no secret that gay guys, and really anybody in the LGBT community, hear a lot of really ridiculous things on pretty much a daily basis. There are obviously things like the homophobic remarks, which are stupid and intolerant all on their own, but there are also a ton of other things that aren't intended to be rude, but they really are anyway. But before I get into them, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I try to use sass and laughter to make the world a happier place. If that sounds like your vibe, I think you found your tribe. I hope you'll subscribe. Today's video is going to cover five things that gay guys hate hearing. Coming up. Number one. You don't act gay. Really? Because I've only ever had sex with men. Seems pretty darn gay to me. Like, I know that when I talk, I'm not constantly making Lady Gaga references or swearing my undying love to Beyonce. And I don't parade down the street wearing nothing but a jock strap anymore. Gay isn't a personality trait, it's an orientation that applies to millions of people around the world. And for most of those people, being gay is the least exciting thing about them. Like, there may be some mannerisms that we have in common, but even I have seen dozens of straight guys in my lifetime that have those same behaviors. That doesn't instantly make them crave hot dogs instead of tacos, if you know what I mean. Number two. Have you ever been with a woman? What time did it become appropriate to ask that question? And if a gay guy does answer this, and the answer is yes, then we get a response like, Wasn't good enough for you, huh? But if the answer is no, then we almost always hear, Then how are you sure you're gay? I don't have to drop a toaster into the bathtub to know I'm not going to enjoy that experience. I'm currently alive. I've never been dead. But I know I like being alive. I don't like the idea of anchovies. I've never had anchovies, but I know I'm never going to eat one. And if your pop culture is up to date and you caught the little double entendre that I just did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. <laughs> Why do I need to experience sex with a woman to know that I prefer having sex with a man? And to that same argument, doesn't that mean that every straight person in the world should have sex at least once with someone of the same gender to confirm that they are straight? Didn't think about that, did ya? And this is YouTube, so before one of you guys gets all crazy and jumps down into the comments section and tries to come at me, I'm not saying that I in any way dislike women. I'm just saying that they have a couple of body parts that I have no interest in touching. Number three. Are you the man or the woman in the relationship? This is the most sexist question that you can ask someone. This can mean a few different things. The first one is obviously, are you the top or the bottom in the relationship? Which as far as I'm concerned is only information that you can possibly want because you need information for your spank bank and I didn't come here to make a deposit. The second way that this can be intended is are you the more powerful and dominant part of the relationship or are you the more weak and homebound one? To which I say, really? Like, actually. Really? It's 2018, and you're still considering women to be the weaker sex? If you ever feel like asking this question, just take a second to remind yourself that a woman can push a human through her body and then get up and walk around the next day, whereas I can barely get a cold without feeling like it's the apocalypse. But to answer the question, we're gay, so we're both the man in the relationship. Which is why it works for us. Hot dogs for dinner! Number four. I have a friend who's gay. You should meet him. Why? because we'll instantly hit it off and go on to live a long, happy life because we have one thing in common? We're people, not magnets. Like if I said, hey, I have a friend who's straight, so you should meet him, you'd probably think that was ridiculous because it's the least important thing about either of you. Unless you're one of those people who just needs anybody with a pulse touching your places. But if that's the case, that's a you thing and not a me thing, so stop projecting. Let's take a look at an extreme example. Imagine Hitler was gay. And you have a gay friend named Jeff Rosenberg that you want to introduce him to. Do you think that's gonna work out? Because I don't think that's gonna work out. One similarity, it's not enough. Think of it this way, there are more than 8 billion people on this planet and we all have the fact that we're human in common. If that was enough, don't you think we'd like each other more? Number five. When did you become gay? Well, I accidentally watched The Wizard of Oz when the moon was in the third house of Saturn about 15 minutes into the second equinox of the millennium while sipping oolong tea from a crystal glass that had been blessed by a gypsy priest. Then I had a bath in the tears of a virgin that had been kicked by a donkey and suddenly I wanted to bang Ryan Reynolds. Just an average Friday, really. Also, I was born this way. Do you not listen to Lady Gaga music? Huh. I guess I do reference Lady Gaga. <laughs> That's awkward. 
There are so many more of these that I'm going to toss the question to you. What are some more things that gay guys or LGBT people in general are just tired of hearing? Let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, you know the drill. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new here, click right there to subscribe to the channel. I make new episodes every single Sunday, and I would love for you to be here. Check out more of my videos right down there. You can connect with me on social media in the corner over there. And until next Sunday, stay classy. Or at least be sassy. Bye.